believe in India. Mm -hmm. um, we, the business people at the UK India Business Council, but also, of course, the UK government, as Prime Minister David Cameron demonstrated when he chose India for mm -hmm. his first major international visit and then came back here again earlier this year. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I would say in Britain there's a very strong belief in the India growth story, mm -hmm. but there's also a strong belief that as Britain grows in the future, particularly after the financial crisis, we need far more of our businesses exporting, mm -hmm. and not just exporting within Europe, but ex which isn't growing very fast, but actually exporting to the growth markets of the world, and that means India. There's no doubt there are short-term difficulties. Frankly, there are short-term difficulties in most of the world's economies. There are few lucky people who have escaped this, but you know, we have had some very big difficulties with the global financial crisis and then the Eurozone crisis impacting us in the UK and our biggest export market, which is the rest of the European Union, has been very badly hit by the problems in the Eurozone and the low growth there. But when I talk to all my business colleagues who are in India, I mean, I'm thinking here of British business colleagues, mm. You know, they're in India for the long term. The last several months, particularly, with, you know, the, the, the impact on the rupee of developments in the West, that's been very difficult. But, and we were discussing this actually at our board meeting this morning, mm -hmm. but the message coming through all the time is, you know, focus on the opportunities and invest for the long term. Don't be distracted by the short term blips because the opportunities are still here. Certainly Gujarat, and in a sense that's, that's both a traditional and a non-traditional area for Britain given the relationships over the last 10 years and, and a significant change in that over the last year. Um, but Kolkata and West Bengal, we've been doing some very interesting work there, for instance in urban development, mm -hmm. um, and about a year ago we brought together a number of our infrastructure companies to work with the West Bengal government on a, on a, a master plan. Last year, we took the view, and I would say most of the British business community took the view, that it was really essential to engage with Gujarat, both because of the historic links between Gujarat, the Gujarati community and, and the UK, a very large Gujarati diaspora, in the UK, including in the city where I was a member of parliament in Leicester, Leicester mm. uh, which has a very big mm. East African Gujarati community, um, but also because of the growth that we're seeing in Gujarat and with many other countries and their governments, you know, really f prioritizing potential investment in Gujarat, it would have been wrong, I think, for the British government not to make a change in its engagement with Gujarat. And so, privately, we were pressing very hard for this change in policy. We welcomed William Hague's announcement last year.